Hi guys, it's Suzanne here. So today we are going to do a little yoga session, really focusing on releasing the shoulders and the upper back. And the reason I've decided to do this session today is because the past few weeks, everyone I've spoken to has basically been saying how, how tight they are around here. And I think a lot of it is just simply from sitting <laughs> over a computer. Um, yeah. We don't realise um, how sitting can really, really wreck our posture. So that's why I thought we'd focus on that today. You might want to get yourself a towel or a blanket to put under your head. If you don't have a mat, grab yourself a towel or something to lie on. And yeah, grab yourself some water. So let's come to start on our backs. Just make sure you're comfortable. And we'll start with the knees bent and the feet flat. It's just softer in the lower back. Take a nice deep breath in. And sigh out. Again, take a fuller breath in. And let it go. Just allowing your body to settle into the ground. Notice how you're breathing. Have a little scan through the body and just see what you have to work with today. Notice whether there are any areas that feel a little tight. Or maybe there's areas that just simply need waking up. <laughs> and throughout the session, please listen to your body. So if you want to rest, you have a little rest. And if you want to modify anything, you do that. So take a fuller breath in and then let it go. And then you're just going to gently mobilise the lower back. So all you're doing is rolling the pelvis a little forwards and back. Now do check your feet are in parallel, your knees are in parallel. See how the lower back's feeling. Now as you roll the pelvis, just listen to what happens to your head. So you want to make sure the head is, is central, in line with your spine. And you should find as you roll the pelvis forwards and backwards, your head is also invited to move forwards and back. So this movement is travelling all the way up the spine. And then pause for a minute. So each time you return to stillness, it's really a, a great opportunity to check in. Have a scan back through the body. See what's changed. Notice how you're breathing. And then take your arms out wide. And we're just going to ease into a very gentle twist. To start with, have your feet about hip, uh, no, mat, mat width, nice and wide. And you're going to exhale, just allow the knees to drop to your right, head to your left. And you can turn your right palm down and bring the left palm so it's facing the ceiling. As you roll the pelvis to centre, the head rolls to centre, and then you change sides. Just go at your own pace. If you feel you want to create more length, then take your arms a little bit higher. Okay, go for a couple more. And you're going to finish with your knees over to your right. 
And then you're going to bring the back arm forward so you're lying on your side. Now this is where you might want something under your head, so I'm just going to grab a blanket for my head. So you could use a towel or even a, a cushion. Yeah. Also thought I'd shut the window, someone started drilling outside. So get whatever support you need under your head. You might not need any. Okay, and then come on to that right side again. And we want to work with the knees together, the feet in line with the knees, and the knees in line with the hips. A little right angle. And we're going to start with the palms together. And just take a moment to settle there. And then we're going to slide. So it's going to be a, a, quite a small movement to start with. You're going to slide your top shoulder blade forwards. And that means the arm will slide forwards. And then you draw the shoulder blade back. So all of these, this next sequence, that's really going to help release around the shoulders and the, the lower back, they're quite soft movements. And so often we sort of, um, we're just told we need to force something for it to release. Whereas, you know, try and get rid of that, that way of, of, of thinking. And with these particular exercises, it's, it's more about letting go as much as possible rather than forcing it. So really here, all you're doing is letting the shoulder blades slide, creating a little bit of space there in the upper back and on the shoulder. Yeah, and just keep it going. Make sure the head can roll. And you'll find, as you start to loosen up around the shoulder and then in the upper back, the movement will feel a little more fluid. Maybe you can increase the range of movement. change the movement. And we're going to come all the way back in stages. So when you next drag the shoulder back, keep going until the shoulder blade lands and then the elbow, the wrist and the hand. And you come back up and in stages and you slide the arm forwards. So keep that going. If you have got something underneath your head, just check uh, it's far enough back so you don't topple off it when you bring the arm back. <clears throat> so gliding the shoulder blade back. Also let this top knee, knee lift as you rotate. So, nice easy movement. couple more and then again we're going to change this movement. And now you're going to inhale and you're going to bring the arm back in one, opening up, exhaling. Again allow the, the pelvis to Roll back a little, let the knee move so the shoulder can come all the way down. Opening up. And if you find it's all feeling particularly tight today, you might want to stay for a couple of breaths and just let this, this whole area release. Okay, and we are 
are going to change that once again. This time, we're going to draw a semicircle overhead. So come to that starting position and inhale, we're going to slide the arm. Just halfway. And then forwards. Yeah, you breathe in. And just let the arm sort of drag, or the hand drag along the floor. You're not um, lifting it. Yeah, so it's quite passive. The arm's passive. So opening. So this is going to feel very, very different for everyone. So you could stay with this. You could stay here and breathe, yeah? Or you might want to take the arm around full circle. And notice any crunching, <laughs> let's take it around. You can always pause, take a few breaths. If you're circling, try reversing it. And then we'll all pause for a moment on our side. Just check your alignment, if you've got some paddle there, then make sure you've got enough behind you so you, your head doesn't drop off it. Now this time, we're going to extend the top leg and flex the foot. And then you're going to stretch that top arm over your head. Now for the moment, just lengthen out, take a few nice deep breaths. And we're going to let the leg join in to this, this movement. So as you bring the arm back now, so just as you did before when you were drawing your little semicircle, so that top arm's going to come back. At the same time, the leg is going to sweep forward. So we're in a twist. And the leg comes back, and the arm comes overhead, and you're going to lengthen out on a diagonal. So you might want to break this first one, first one down. Also, you might need to move so you're not hitting the sofa or the wall or anything. So lengthen out and you want to extend through the heel. The leg stays really active. Yeah, although this is a very passive sort of gentle movement, we want to keep the leg active and the arm active. Now the arm comes back. The leg comes forwards. If you'd like a little extra stretch, when you bring the arm forward, just grab hold of the wrist and then lengthen out. And then when you've had enough, you're going to roll your way onto your back. Remove whatever support you have under your head and extend the legs out. Just, just for the minute, take some time to settle. Draw both shoulders down away from the ears. And take your awareness back through your body and compare that left side with the right side. Notice what's changed. So not just around the shoulder and the upper back, but in the hip, the lower back, neck. And then when you are ready, hug your knees in and gently rock side to side. I'm just going to spin around. And we're going to go through that whole sequence on the other side. <coughs> Don't assume it will feel the same, so often one side is a lot tighter. Okay, so come onto your back, take the arms wide. 
You can take the knees away and just before we drop onto the side, just ease in and out of that little twist again. A few rounds side to side. And you're going to finish with the legs over to the left. And then come all the way onto your side. Make sure you're comfortable. You might want something under the head. Bring the feet forward. So if you have a mat, the shins are parallel to the side of the mat. Knees in line with hips. And then bring your palms together. Now start by just gliding this top shoulder blade forwards. So the arm will, will obviously move forwards. But you're not instigating the movement from here. It's definitely coming from here. <coughs> and then back. So don't go straight to the maximum range of movement. I'm just gently easing, easing into it. And when you feel that it's starting to open up a little, you can make the movement bigger. So you're just going to continue bringing the shoulder back until the shoulder lands, then the elbow, the wrist and hand. And forwards. back in one, like you're opening up, a like a little book. And exhaling forwards. And again, allow the pelvis to roll so the, the shoulder can come all the way to the ground. change that once again. If you've drifted off your mat, just shift forwards again. Make sure you've got some space around you. And then circle the arm overhead. Just half a circle to start with. feeling quite tight you can stay hanging out or you can start to take the arm around full circle you can change direction Unless you're holding it, and then you just just stay for a couple more breaths. And once you've finished, you're going to extend the top leg out, foot in line with here, and then take the arm overhead and really lengthen, extend through the heel. And as you circle the arm back, so just half a circle back, the leg is going to come forwards. As the arm comes forward, the leg comes back. If you want to get a sense of, of opposition, you're really lengthening out in, in opposite directions. Extending through the heel. And really straighten the top leg. Okay. Feel free to take hold of that top wrist. And just lengthen out a little more. And go for a, a couple 
more rounds like that. Once you've finished, roll your way up to your back, slide the legs out straight, and take a moment to settle. Now, taking how you contact the ground, which is what's going on in the shoulders, the chest, and how does the lower back feel, and the hips. Bend the knees, place the feet flat, arms a little away from your body and you're going to tilt the pelvis and we're going to come up into a bridge. So make sure your head is central, press down through the feet, lifting. Roll your way down. Couple of rounds. Just make sure the knees are still parallel, they're not turning out. Okay. Go for two more rounds. Take your time. And once you've finished, hug your knees in. Gently massage the back. Side to side. And then you're going to curl up. And as you exhale, so you're in a little ball. Core engaged. And we're going to rock backwards and forwards now. Exhaling. And inhaling. A couple more. Stay up and then come to a comfortable seated position. You can sit with the legs crossed, you can sit on a cushion, or you can sit like I am on, on your heels. Just take a moment to really lift through the spine and roll the shoulders back. Roll the shoulders forwards. And then inhale, sweep the arms up over your head. So bring the palms together and down towards the heart centre. Now feel you can lift the chest, drop the shoulders down. Okay, we are going to finish there today. Thank you. Uh, so that's quite a, a short sequence, but hopefully it's, it's so effective. Um, you should feel a lot looser in the upper back around the shoulders also you'll feel more length in the in the lower back so i hope you enjoyed that and um i will see you guys very very soon have a super super beautiful day and feel free to follow no walls yoga or blessing chaos on instagram okay take care guys <laughs>